All right. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. All righty then. Okay. So, this is the tutorial. It's been a little while. But I don't care. Alright. We got our starting Raymold and Dismas. Hi, I'm Foxight, an elder Kitsune. And this, my companion, is Yogg. No, we're not the characters here. We're being escorted by them. Yogg, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm just... I'm more of a mental f way of thinking of things, but... Keep to the side path. It's interesting the to see the our old home in the way that everything has been going. Indeed. I've been along this game of Blade since the very beginning. Sorry, don't want to talk over the narrator. It's been a little while, though. And a lot of things have changed since then. Alright. It's been a while. Melee attack for bleed... Lower damage, but spread shot. Yes. Well, there's only one person, so we're just going to attack for bleed. He's already dead. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, but he's already died. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is the first fight it'll put us through, so I... It's going to be really, really easy. Yes. It occurs to me that we do not yet have all the abilities we want. No. We will need to, I believe, go in. Recruit. We can't really do that yet. So they will randomly have abilities for now. Yes. All right. He's only got four health. So I'm going to go with the attack with the highest accuracy. Which is stunning blow. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. All right. That is absolutely nothing. <laughs> I also don't remember many of the curios. I believe there's. To be spent. I don't remember all of them either. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. I know a few of them. All right. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Grape shot would hit both of them. The guy with the blunderbuss is probably more dangerous to us overall yes. than the man with a flail. Yes. <laughs> so it might be a good idea to just shoot him directly. 
Yes. It's a self buff. Doesn't mark the target. Tracking shots specifically against stealth, I think. It is. So, just shoot him. Alright, that's pretty annoying. And it lowers our dodge. Of course it does. Twenty percent damage resistance. It's not bad, but it, it's really better. Is. It's not as good as a hundred percent damage resistance. So if we manage to stun this guy. He's only got a 50% chance to be stunned. Is that still good enough? I say so, yeah. Yes. Fair enough. Uh. Okay, that's lucky. And this is annoying. Of course his initiative is better than ours. Damn. Well, if we're worried about the blanket shooter. I've got no way to get to him with the uh, Crusader. Oh yeah, because the uh, big bandit takes up two slots instead of just one. Yeah, I say we try to stun him again. there. That buys us a turn. Dismiss, don't miss this time. 4 HP. 5 to 9. 2 to 3. It's not enough, so... Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Finally. I played... I played this... Game of Blades, back when corpses didn't exist. Everyone just walked through them. What good times. We uh, should probably you... just start killing this guy, right? Yes. Yeah. He's gonna stun, so. Like, he's 100% stun resistant now, so. Stress damage attack, kind of annoying. Yes, that is something that annoys me greatly. It's got better accuracy, does a DOT, makes sense here. I think we just keep hitting him. Yes. <laughs> okay. Gotten one of our crests. Nice. That is useful. We're gonna stick around for a second. Open the. Okay. We got a trinket. It's protection against blight, if I'm... No. Uh, plus 15% to add blight. It's trapped. We don't have any way to disarm the trap here, do we? No. Well, this is why we have... The I mean... Right of it's already, yeah, we're done.
Yep. Plus five scouting chance in Cove. Okay. On my Crusader. <laughs> Useful. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. Okay, dokie. And you are bound to them. Now, I understand reluctantly of what I'm looking at here this time. Trinkets and charms. The wagon on the far left. All the forgotten corners uh, of the earth. The wagon on the it, don't worry about. Okay. Yeah, this we is will all. Not be able to, we will not be able to get anything here for now. Fair enough. Jeez. But they are powerful. Right. So. The nomads for rich people. I... Can I sell trinkets to you? Yet? Yes. Hold shift, to sell a, hold shift to sell a trinket. Okay. We're not gonna sell it quite yet, but... We might. We'll see. We have no particular use for gold right now. The ancestors' time, memoirs don't matter to us, the really. Extent of my failings. The graveyard is as simple as it comes. Here. We're not allowed to look at earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Anything the else yet? The stress. Yeah, the de-stressing centers don't matter yet. The hunter on the left doesn't exist at the moment. Or right, they do, but we didn't use them yet. The stagecoach is one of our most important things to upgrade. Fools and so let us upgrade it first. Find their way to I agree. The road is clear. More okay. heroes and bigger... The barracks, we don't care about yet. But the network, we do. We would like to be able to get more recruits. Great heroes Let's can just be get both. Even here, in the mud it's the same thing. Yep. We are going to take them. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? And... West Park. Yeah, pretty much. I have a feeling mo... The blacksmith is going to be the first thing we really want to start upgrading. And the guild. The guild especially. Yes. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Oh my god, we're allowed to go to the darkest dungeon already. Yes. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. No. Okay, the usual suspects. You are... Yeah, you prefer position three. You pos Fuck. Oh, that's awful. So you're only capable of healing today. You are very annoying, Grimalt. So our party's kind of fucked if we get shuffled. 
So don't get shuffled, silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us get go on an expedition into the ruins. Uh. Let us send these. I'm aware I can move my party around. What I was doing is checking the preferred position to make sure that it wasn't horrible. Do we... We've got a plague stone. We can upgrade... Plus 15% blight chance... On this guy. Do we? I mean, it would be a minor buff for him at the start. It does but lower it his also, speed. It lowers his speed by one. That doesn't really matter, does it? No. Not until late, much later will speed be a very beneficial thing. Alright. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. Right. So, a safe bet will always be to take at least a ten or a max stack of. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna can hold in a slot. Shovels. I've gotten at fucked without two shovels. And always at least have one key to bypass a cramped chest if should we come across one. Yeah. Or to get extra stuff from a chest. You can also use the anti-venom to undo a trap chest, I think. The holy water! We probably want to. Bandages I'm not gonna care about this time. We'll just handle the DOTs through healing. You said always bring a key. Let's bring two. And one stack of torches? Yes. Yeah, that's fair. Let us see what happens. Indeed. Now, you might have been wondering why we didn't just start the episode here. And that's because I forgot there was a tutorial that was mandatory. <laughs> anyway, well, this dungeon looks pretty straightforward other than the fact that we'll have to double back somewhere in order to explore 90% of it. But we're going to likely explore the whole thing. Probably, yeah. I imagine. First dungeon's always the same. Well, too bad I haven't memorized it. Wow. <laughs> I forgot we were green enough that we just take stress damage walking down a hallway. <laughs> Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay. Also, a good hot key to know. T is torch. Alrighty then. Here we go. Now, if I remember properly... You can't bleed skeletons, but you can blight them. Blight, five points, three rounds, eight health. So they die next round if I hit them with that. Versus four to seven damage. So this is a two turn kill, no matter what. Yes. I'm going to presume that it's easier to hit the front target. Oh, it's got startup damage. Okay. That's nice. That blight's more powerful than it used to be. It used to be three for three. 
Okay. That also leads to this thought. If I just bip him for two damage, he dies before he's able to act. I like that. God, you're useful. <laughs> All right, then we just hit the front one really, really hard. <laughs> Another one falls. Problem solved. As victories mount, okay. So too will Do we touch this chest? Touch the chest first. It's an unlock strong box. The a key would un unlock a secret uh box in it. But do we want to use a key at the, at the, on the first chest? Nah. It said unlocked explicitly, so I feel like a key would be a waste. A key will unlock a hidden compartment in a chest. I think that's only in the gold one. That is in all chests now. Or the fa no, the family heirloom chest, you are correct. Yep. Even the cold it even gave us a shovel this time. Passage. It would not be that nice otherwise. Ah, right as the torch went down, huh? You're annoying. Okay. I will say target the one in the back if we can. Yeah, that's a stress attacker, I remember. I could blind him. What's your resistance? 75% chance to make them skip a turn. Or go for lethal in three turns. Wait, skip the... Uh, have them skip a turn. Fuck. Well, then I say target them directly with the pistol. Yeah, I agree. Oof. That's unfortunate. I don't mind the physical damage. Damn it. Body and brain. Crit. That's always annoying. Yes. This might kill him anyway. I say we go for the nearly the nearly guaranteed kill on this guy? Yes. Be gone, fiend. Okay, it's just a shuffle attack this time. Dead. <laughs> Problem is solved. Ow. Yep, we're just gonna hit it. Yeah, why not? Walk. This advantage. Give them no quarter. I wish you had the self heal right now. Buff. I forgot that one gave us some torch back. That's nice. Why not? Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, so we have a debuff sp stone. Affects our speed. All right, there we go. Party order is correct again. I don't think we care about the debuff stone. No. I feel like we should equip it to someone to get it out of a backpack slot, but... Alright, nothing. 
Oh, scouting. Huh, so there's traps, there's curios, and then there's two different uh, two room battles. Whoop! Didn't mean to do that. Didn't cost us anything. Thanks. <laughs> God damn it, Reynolds! <sighs> damn you! What? Did he... He stole he it! I forgot he's got kleptomania. Torch. Damn it. Okay, we surprised them anyway. I don't think I like the Arbalest. He has a lot of health. Yes. Let's start making that health lower. Okay, he dies in two turns. We just hit some... We just hit. Doesn't really matter, does it? Another no. abomination <laughs> cleansed from our lands. We're gonna heal the guy with less overall hit points to lose. That's why. You are already dead. We'll just go with this. And that would make us end this fight. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Right. There's another debuff stone. Holy water. Yeah. Well, that's very nice. I wonder how much sanity that healed. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. Okay. That's particularly useful. Let's start her dying as fast as we can. <laughs> and problem is solved. She's dead. Thank you for the advice, chat. All right. We can one-tap him. We can't one-tap him. Let's lower their action economy. Well, we tried. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Ow. If that did work while you were in combat, I would be slightly concerned. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Well, 
four to seven. Lead. Actually dead in two turns. Yeah, I prefer that. Fuck. Fine, we'll stack DOTs. Alright, heirloom chest. This time, we use a key. Yes. Nice. Alright. You deal with it. Okay, good. Alrighty then. Everything here is fine. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Uh, okay, this is where we'll use some food to heal you up. Yes. There. Yeah, there. I knew that was going to happen eventually. <laughs> we had enough food. We're gonna keep keep adventuring. We got one we have one room left to explore. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Alright. You are my first target. Good. Good. Okay, stress unit can't act. Didn't matter. Part of me thinks we try to stun the guy with the axe, but... We've got... about a 50-50 chance to one-shot this guy if we hit. Executed with impunity. I guess that works. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Okay, that's very lucky. He's now inside of his effective range. No one's hurt. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Right at this point. He's dead. This guy's got damage at resistance, so DOTs are especially helpful. So is high damage. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Don't have a musketeer, so that would just be. That's fine. We'll just put one of the trinkets in someone's inventory. Or 
like that. We use the key again. Let's... Which one costs more to sell back? Probably the holy water versus three torches, right? Yeah. The light. The promise of safety. Okay. Cool. We found a lot of crests. Nice. That's a solid one. The tents are pitched, banners fly, and the corpse wagons stand at the ready. Don't the worry about this. To town. This is the PvP aspect. I see. Okay, we now have our stress relief. The pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Right. When I have the antiquarian in, uh, in the group. It's is just that more money. You find... Yes, that is specifically for money. Yeah, it's useful. A whole two things you can do from the back slot. Okay. Well, I definitely like you more than our other Thestal, so I'll take you. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. I think we put two stain into stress relief this week. Yes. He was p. He was amazingly useful, but sixty-two is just too damn high. So we need to replace him with someone who goes in the three slot. And hey, look, the occultist likes the three slot. Okay, the occultist is kind of a chatty choice. And also we'd have two healers on the team. But... Do we want to have room for good loot, or do we want to have nothing but trinket, or uh, antiques for money? Our money's doing okay, but I don't know. What do you think? Well, this is actually stuff we should be doing next episode. So, 